Oh, also, uh, for now, the locals after streams, thank God, uh, they're not happening. There will be some more spontaneous locals activity happening soon. Uh, we do. I, I've gotten rid of that required locals after stream. Hated it. It was not productive. It was not good. So look for locals to change pretty dramatically soon as I've gotten rid of that. But again, the sickness is, is hampering my plans. Jerox says, so locals did not renew your contract. Nice cope. You can think whatever you want about whatever you want. It's, uh, I can tell you that everybody's theories about everything are always wrong, so I don't care. Um, but I hated doing the after show. Uh, it was locals' idea to do that after show. It has never been productive. It has never done what they've wanted it to do. It has never been fun for me to speak for three to four hours a night and then let's do another show where I'm supposed to give more content. It's like, but what am I supposed to say after doing three to four hours of content? It doesn't work. Um, that's not how I built locals. And it's not how locals was going to grow afterwards. And uh, I hated it. So I negotiated that out. It's gone. It's fantastic. And we're going to be doing a lot of different stuff. With locals as we go. J rock says, I hated agreeing to a contract. I signed Guys, J-Rock is really cool. He's here all the time, and he thinks he knows stuff about whatever. Um, no, I really liked the contract I signed with locals. It was very lucrative for me, uh, and it was a lot of security. But what I found, and I thought, oh, yeah, doing a local stream after my Rumble show would be great. What I found very quickly was that I didn't enjoy it. Uh, people didn't show up for it in the same way that they would have showed up for a daytime show. I was burned out. I had over-talked. Uh, on my main show and I didn't have topics that were following. The only shows that I liked doing were hot tub streams where I was relaxing, but I could just do hot tub streams impromptu on locals and not forced to do them. I would much rather utilize locals in a completely different way than what they had asked me to do. But I didn't know that at the time I signed the contract. It sounded good and then it didn't work out. So now we've got a whole new arrangement and it's fantastic. JROX says, Nick, We've never found the wonderful content creators you introduced me to. We just stop whatever this is and be our Nick. Uh, J-Rock, have you considered the possibility? Have you considered the possibility that there's a reason I haven't been our Nick lately and that I've been desperately trying to rework and retool some of the things that sounded good and didn't work out the way I wanted them to for a while? And maybe, maybe just give me a few minutes and uh, let's let's roll with it, brother. Let's roll with it. But I promise you, you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. I promise you that uh, you don't know what's going on in front of the scenes unless I tell you specifically. And I like it that way. But hey, man, it's not a secret. Like you can see it on my face for several times over the past year plus that there are times where I just was really like not enjoying what I was doing and doing it because one, I had to, and two, because there's a bunch of people who wanted to see me whether, whether I was enjoying it or not is, is irrelevant like that as a content creator, sometimes you just have to do the thing you have to do the work, but I'm trying to get it where I'm enjoying what I do as much as possible because when I'm happy, it makes a better show. That's the main shit right there is when I'm happy and into it, uh, I'm making a better show. And that's what I've been working on for a while. And we've got some movement on that front. So, Hang out with me. Let's uh, let's see where it goes. Local streams are coming not after shows. Local streams are coming at different times, maybe with some guests. And also, I do have some uh, podcasts that I really like, locals exclusive podcasts that I really want to start. You'll see them when they pop up. They're coming very soon. Again, not being required to do local streams after the show is a big thing that has been a fucking disaster this past year it's made me not want to engage in locals content because i'll do a show i'll be tired i'll talk forever and then it's like oh let's go on locals right now and then uh if we do locals right now we'll get some new no i, I won't have new stuff to talk about i'm fucking exhausted so um that's new uh that's gonna be a fun thing and we're gonna have some guests we're gonna have some locals Literally locals exclusive podcasts, not just like spontaneous live videos. Um, working on that, and we'll uh, we'll go ahead and do that very soon. Again, don't take my word for it. Wait until I start putting out the content. You'll see. But the way to see the content 
is for free. You don't have to pay anything. Kadalaw.locals.com. Go follow me there. You'll get announcements every time I do a stream, by the way, because I make a link uh, in a live chat or whatever on Locals, and I send that out via email. You'll get that. It's not like uh, YouTube and whatever where they don't send a notification. These go out by email to you guys so you can see them when they go out. Um, really easy way to keep track of what I'm doing, and it's free. That will never cost anything at all. Uh, the podcast, once I release them, will be behind the, the Locals paywall. They'll be for my Locals community, and I hope that people find them valuable enough to engage in. But that, again, don't join until I actually create the thing. You'll see it if you're following me on Locals. 